Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this video. I hope you're doing great this morning and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the Atlantic. So looking at this graphic, here we can see newly formed tropical storm Sean. Uh, it became a tropical storm this morning and then there's that new tropical wave now marked for potential development. So it's likely to continue west to the Caribbean and may try to develop as it makes that track. And then in the Caribbean, we'll be looking at what is happening the rainfall activity for today also the gulf where uh there was previously no 93 l but that is off the map now because tropical cyclone development is unlikely but it may produce some very heavy rainfall across portions of the southeast u.s so we'll be looking at that as well as lydia we'll talk about what lydia did yesterday so uh, let's get straight into it and of course we're going to be kickstarting with lydia so these are the remnants of the storm right now it has dissipated because uh, once it made its way over land it was cut off from its source of fuel and energy those warm ocean waters coupled with the terrain of mexico so it was disrupted significantly and now it has dissipated however just before landfall it underwent rapid intensification i mean yesterday uh in the morning it was expected to make landfall maybe as a cat 2 hurricane and it went all the way up to cat 4 in intensity peak winds were 140 miles per hour with higher gusts so lydia surprised a lot of us with the intensification rate just a couple of hours before it made its way in but as it moved inland it collapsed why because again the terrain of mexico and the fact that it isn't getting any fuel right now so we're seeing these remnants but they could still produce some periods of flooding across portions of mexico and unfortunately Unfortunately, there has been one reported fatality in Mexico. My condolences to the family and friends of that person. So this is what tropical cyclones do when they're so intense. They result in these very dangerous conditions and may cause loss of life. Now we're heading over into the Atlantic Basin where we've got our systems. So there is that new tropical wave behind Sean. So Sean isn't looking like the best tropical storm. So matter of fact, it isn't expected to strengthen much. Let's go on to what the National Hurricane Center has as it relates to the cone forecast. So here you can see it. Maximum sustained winds are around 40 miles per hour and it is moving to the west northwest at 13 miles per hour. So it is not expected to, uh, to strengthen much, maybe peak winds up to around 45 miles per hour uh, because it is going to be dealing with some shear and even some dry air as well so those factors will help the system to remain pretty weak out there and uh, GFS remains consistent about whatever is left of it maybe the system dissipated and just an open trough heading towards portions of the Caribbean we'll look at what the model has to show very soon but this is what the National Hurricane Center is expecting of the system now let's zoom into the Caribbean and see what's happening and there you can see that there isn't much happening especially over in the east where it has been pretty hot and dry as of lately so nothing much going on same story for northeastern south america which includes the guyanas and then over in central america same story maybe a bit of rainfall and thunderstorm activity popping up here and there especially across uh, going down to northern colombia we see some uh, thunderstorm activity offshore and into parts of the country but not a whole lot happening on a whole for the region but as we head over into the Gulf of Mexico, there's that cluster of activity that is likely to continue developing today and eventually we may see a lot of rainfall being unleashed across Gulf Coast states. So let us take a look at the rainfall expected. So we're looking at what year has to show. So there could be up to around uh, three to four inches of rainfall at maximum across some areas. So there could be a lot of heavy rainfall induced across southeast Louisiana, near the coast of Mississippi, Alabama, most of Florida, especially the Florida Panhandle, portions of Georgia, and even South Carolina could experience quite a bit of rainfall increase from this system as it is going to be making its way through. Look, even at Mexico and parts of southern Texas, especially going near the coast, we can see that some activity is also expected, uh, likely contributed by what is left of Lydia because those remnants are moving rather quickly, up to 23 miles per hour. So uh, they may dump some decent rainfall for you guys. I know it has been very dry for some areas so uh, some of this rainfall activity would be welcomed but as but we also have to keep in mind that a lot of heavy rainfall can trigger flooding 
As it relates to the rest of the Caribbean region here, you can see that a whole lot not expected for the islands today. Maybe some passing showers or some brief thunderstorms popping up uh, for the most part across Trinidad, going to Tobago, and then all the way up to Anguilla, and even including Barbados. That is what we may see, some brief activity moving through. For the ABC Islands, similar story, not much expected. Same thing as we head up to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands. And then for Hispaniola, so many areas will be dry today some areas may experience some thunderstorms similar story for jamaica it may be a pretty hot day for the most part but then across some spots in cuba going to the cayman as uh, there could still be some periods of those heavy showers as a result of uh, all that moisture in the area and then over in central america especially near the pacific coast of the different territories there may be some uh, substantial rainfall same thing for colombia and venezuela then, as I said, it will be pretty dry over in the Guyanas, and then heading all the way up to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands. There could be some heavy rainfall across portions of the northern Bahamas, but heading to the southern islands and the Turks and Caicos Islands, there's unlikely to be much activity today. Now we want to go ahead and talk more about some model data as it relates to the tropical wave and Sean out there. But uh, briefly, from the NHC, I don't think I actually stated this, there's a 20% chance that we could see the development of that new tropical wave. So the chance is pretty low now and I mean this area is just recently highlighted but we'll see how it trends and let's now go on to what models have to show. So we're kickstarting things looking at uh, GFS. So this is as we head to Wednesday of next week, a week out from now there we see all that moisture increase in the Caribbean. Uh, that is what is left off Sean by the way. So again GFS is not showing that there will be a tropical storm or tropical depression headed for the Caribbean but if the remnants or that uh, remain in trough has enough activity associated with it then it could bring some rainfall activity to eastern islands which wouldn't be something very bad but it gets bad when there is a lot of heavy rainfall that is persistent or a lot of heavy rainfall in a short amount of time there's that high pressure system out there reinforcing itself so that is what gfs is forecasting then that next tropical wave approaching now take a look at this as we head to saturday of next week the 21st of the month there are seeing some development over in the eastern pacific and then that low pressure area uh, approaching the Caribbean. So GFS is showing that the tropical wave will try to develop into something, but look at this. As we head to Monday the 23rd, there's that system out there, that low pressure area as well as a weekend high. So just before the system would make its way into the Caribbean, it starts moving up to the north. Pretty interesting here, and GFS showing some intensification of it. There we see likely a major hurricane as we head to a few days later on Friday the 27th of October. Pretty far out, they're about to be changes guys heading on to Europe what is Europe showing so this is as we head out to Sunday the 15th so this coming Sunday uh, that is whatever is left off Sean making its way up to the Northwest so you're not expecting that it will continue to the West and potentially dip down into the Caribbean there we see that tropical wave and then uh, again Europe is also showing that high pressure system being reinforced there we see that tropical wave not developing into a tropical cyclone but then it approaches the Caribbean as we head to next Friday so quite a bit of time to watch the system then next let's head on to the canadian model so canadian also showing that northwestward track of sean then that tropical wave but not showing that wave approaching as anything much however the model does continue to show development in the northwest caribbean so it has been very consistent about that happening finally the icon model head into monday the 16th of the month next monday they uh, there we see sean and that tropical wave developing and uh icon does not go as far out as these models so with this run here this is as far as it goes as of when i'm updating because it should go out 120 hours and uh this is the 117th hour so uh we can see here that there is some consistency on sean making that turn up to the northwest even looking at the model track guidance here we can see that being depicted some of these tracks go off to the west but uh mostly a northwestward track expected off the system and then as it relates to intensity we can see that most of these models keep this in that green shade and tropical storm intensity but notice how some of them start going upward headed toward that yellow which indicates category one hurricane status so some models want to show 
a bit of strength in the long term. We'll have to wait and see. But again, there's no guarantee of this system impacting the Caribbean. But then that tropical wave, even if it does not develop into something, it could still bring a lot of rainfall. We know how it goes with these tropical waves sometimes. So we definitely have to keep watch. And I will be keeping watch for you guys as per usual. So that is pretty much it for this video. I know it has been a mouthful, but I trust and hope that you found it to be quite informative. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.